Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Enderal with our friend Marcus here as always. And we are inside a dungeon of some description, a strange place as it is called on my map. And if you recall from last episode, we met up with the Keeper, whose name I don't remember. We'll check in a little bit. And the other initiates for the Order. And after a walk through a magical forest, we all stood around an altar Well, the other two initiates bickered with, uh, with their boss there for a little while. And then he made me drink some sort of strange potion. And then we woke up here. And we made a new friend, if that's what you want to call him, Axion. Aixen, whatever. And he's got some personal space issues. And he is apparently convinced that we're going to stay here forever. Which, I hope not, because this place is a little on the creepy side, for sure. Uh, anyway, let's check the journal. I awoke in some sort of prison. Aixon, a fellow prisoner, spoke of an oppressor who will only let us go after we let go of all hope. Regardless of whether that is true or not, I have to find a way to leave our cell. So, yeah. Um, and we don't have any of our stuff. Oh, we have Yarrow's memorial book still for some strange reason, and we have a knife. Okay. Oh, the memories. The memories of the last time I was wandering around with only a knife. All right, and who are you exactly? Okay, all right. What the? How did you do that? Uh, well, um, I... I, I wish I knew, really. You... You simply opened it? But that's impossible. All these years it's kept me from escaping, and, and you just... Come, come on. We... We have to look. We, we have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but... But still, we... We have to see. Come. Lead the way. Okay. I'm gonna get my knife ready. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to take a walk in the creepy dungeon. Oh boy. You know, dude, let's can you I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak. I you you do whatever you want, but I'm gonna try to be a little stealthy here, man. What's this guy doing? Pulling a string? Oh, shooting a bow. Trying to shoot a bow at somebody. Okay. Okay. There's, yeah. There's floating chairs. Okay. Oh, God. And there's a ghost. Okay, there's a ghost thing. Just die, ghost thing. Die. Just die very much. Die a lot. Okay. Oh, man. Dude. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. There's more. There's more of them. Okay. Stop running. Okay. Floating chairs and ghosts. So, oh, all right. This is... Yeah, this is the worst thing ever. This is officially... Oh, God. Okay. Requires key. This lock cannot be picked. Oh, God darn it. Oh, they're shooting ice at me now. That's not good. 
Okay, can I use magic? I can. All right, well, let's do it. I don't care. We're not gonna survive otherwise. I guess we better move a little more quickly. And apparently sneaking doesn't matter because they're still able to find me. Okay, there's the floating chair. Excuse me, Aixan. By the gods, these are the scourges of the suppressor. Yeah. They want to punish us. Okay. Oh. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna let him, Aixan. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit them first. All right. So yeah. Do I have any food? Do I have any mana fungi or anything? No. Okay. Great. Search corpse. Do you have a key? You have human flesh, and that's all. So forget it. Written paper. Let us listen to the silence. What really drives you? Who are you? Who are you since you have set foot on Enderal? Now you are the opposite of what you really are. Instructive, strong, powerful, meaningful. In short, the prophet. You have constructed a narrative for yourself, a fairy tale. A fairy tale about who you want to be. And you have found exactly those people who confirm it. That's the most important thing, isn't it? You found someone who believes in your fairy tale. Don't you see? You're simply wrong. Everything about you is wrong. You are pathetic. You know that? Why would Sirius say about this? What would Sirius say about this? Okay, great. I guess there might be some truth in that, I guess. Search sack. Wheat. Need it. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, these are just ingredients. What I'm looking for is food, really. Alright, forget it. Let's move on. Let's try to quick save regularly. In case we die. Corpse. You okay, human heart? No, I nope, we don't want any of that. Okay. Spare parts. I don't think I'm gonna take any of Okay, I'm gonna take the gold. I don't know if I can take it with me, but I'm taking it anyway. Okay. Creepy. Oh, we're up above. Okay, we're up above where we were before. I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna keep checking these corpses. You never know when one of them is going to have something important on it, you know? Like a key or something. Oh boy. See, like this one, look, he's got like a little special light on him. Nope, just human flesh. All right. Search sack empty. Oh, 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 I see something. Yes. Written paper. Let us listen to the silence. What really dra- Oh, is this the same? It is. Okay. Same one. Iron axe. You know what? I'm taking it. It's- Oh! <laughs> yeah. You see that? That was close. Yeah, watch out for that thing, man. Yeah. You do not want to get hit in the head by that. Oh, okay, there's... That turns on the fire. It does not stop that. What does that do? Turn on that fire? Okay. Oh, I just realized what these are. This is a crematory. Let's let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, gross. Okay. There's no way to get in there. Cuz it looks It looks kind of important in there. Oh, it's coming again. Look out, dude. Okay. All right, forget it. We picked up some bread there, though. That's good. If we get too injured again, we can take that. Um, right. So, okay, this goes down. Do we want to 
go down? I don't know. Oh, okay, and that's... We were already there. Excuse me, Aixon. Alright, so that's where we already came up. Alright. Getting lost. We want to go up here, I guess. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Oh, yeah. Here she comes. Yeah, I'm a little tougher now. Don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run. Don't run, because you're going to go get all your buddies. I don't need that. Check barrels, Aixon. They have things in them sometimes. Useful things. It's so cold. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go out. After all, I mean... Are you going to... I mean, yeah. Yes, the cell is small, but... At least it's safe. Are you wussing out, man? Come on, don't... Don't wuss out now. We got to get out of here. Can't just stay here forever, man. Don't give up. Or maybe we do have to give up. That seemed to be what you thought before. Oh, I see another. There's more ghost things. Here they come. Come on. Come on, lady. Okay. All of these places seem strangely familiar to me. And I'm being serious about that. I feel like I've been in a place exactly like this before. It's kind of unsettling, but let's move on. You know what I wish I had is a torch. I can't see crap in here. Okay. You know, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna unequip... Yeah, dude, I've been here before, man. Oh, God. Dude, could you punch her or something? Get back here. Yeah, I've been here before. What? This looks a lot like the first dungeon that I went through when I first got to Enderal, except there were corpses in the water. Well... There are corpses in the water now, but they weren't as fresh. They weren't, the corpses were, they were skeletons. They weren't fresh bodies like this. Search despair. What? Hopelessness. Panic. Okay, let's forget that that happened, and let's just move on. Oh, God, what in the hell? What is all this? A bunch of skulls and then one giant skull on the top. Okay. God, I don't like this place. This place is creepy. Let's get out of here, man. Wait, didn't we come from that way? We did. So where the hell... Ah, through here. Okay. Now I guess we're going up again. Okay. Oh, God. Could you sneak eggs on? Come on, man. Okay. Yep. There's some traps, be careful. The... Haven't we been here before? By the gods, everything here looks so similar. It's... I know, right? It's a damn maze. Oh. Oh, really? We, we should never have left. This will be our doom. Okay, man. Well, we gotta... I, I've said before, we gotta try and get out of here, man. Oh, God. Okay, watch for the traps. Okay, just take it easy. Go slow. Go slow. 
I wish you would sneak, man. Oh, here she comes. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Do you see it? Okay, okay. Do I all see what? The cells. They're all empty. Yeah, so and what? Blood. Oh, no. There were people in there just like us. Yeah. They didn't know their place either, and, and now they're dead. They've simply dissolved because they dared to disobey the suppressor. <laughs> By the gods. This is what will happen to us, too. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. Listen, man, if you want to go back to the cell, okay, you go right ahead, but can you cut off, you know, cut it out with the whining? I'm kind of... I'm kind of tired of it. Okay, now that I got two of those breads, I'm going to... I'm gonna eat one, get some health regeneration going. It's not doing anything. What's the deal with that? Okay, apparently eating food does not have the same effect in here. Hey there, how you doing? How you gonna get to us? Can you open doors? Can ya or no? Doesn't look like you can. Huh. Not so tough after all, are ya? Come on. Oh, here comes another one. Look out, Aixon. Yeah. That's a bash. That's a bash, lady. Okay, now we're regenerating health. Oh, you know, I think we, we must have been in combat before. They probably hurt us and we were technically in combat. Now we're regaining health. Search daddy. Oh god, this this stuff again? Oh god, okay. My terrible childhood memories. What do you got on you, daddy? Clothes. You know what? I'm taking them because anything's better than this crap that I'm wearing. There. Thanks, Dad. All right, let's move on, Aixon. Okay, you're in my way. You got to move. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, more floating chairs. Okay, great. Oh, boy. Okay. Man, this place is dark. I really would like a damn torch. Let's watch for traps. Oh, yeah, I see the spikes. Remorse. Take. Oh, oh. And I'm dead. <laughs> you know, I probably could have got out of there quicker if Axion wasn't right up my butt. What the? Haven't we been here before? Oh, yeah, in more... Cross, everything here looks so similar. It's, it's a damn maze. In more ways than one, oh. Aixon, we've been here before. Oh, really? Trust me. We should never have left. Just, Just shut up, dude. Oh, no. No, no, no. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. All the cells. They're all empty. Uh-huh. And there's blood. Oh, no. Yep. There were people in there just like us. Uh -huh, I know. Right. Because they dared to disappear. And where'd the other one go? Hey, lady. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Happen to us too. Yeah, you know, Aixon, it probably is gonna happen to us too because you won't get out of my. I just knew it. You won't get out of my damn way. I need get out of my way. Seriously. Okay, now the real question here is, is, does removing this, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I need you to stay out of my freaking way, dude. That's what I really need. Is there no other, I cannot see a damn thing back there. All right, we just got to get it and go quick. 
Go quick, go quick, go quick. Aha! Okay. There, we got it. Now, up the stairs. I really wish you'd sneak, man, seriously. All right. I don't like the look of this. There's some kind of non-human skeleton looking thing in there. There's a pull chain here. With a dead man. Okay, why is he dead? Did something bad happen when he pulled the chain is the question. Let's look around for traps. I cannot see a damn thing in here. I really can't. All right, let's look around. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grab the clothes off of, off of Dad. That's fine. Because I can hear my bare feet. Okay, that's locked with a novice lock. It also strangely looks like our cell from before, which is, which is not cool. All right, I'm going to pull this thing. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, we're not dead. That's good. And it... You can grab and move items by aiming at them and holding E. Yes, 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 we do. I know that. Key to the freedom. Do I got to replace that with something? I bet I do, right? Because I bet if I take that off without replacing it, I bet... I bet the gate's gonna come back up. Let's test that theory. Gotta take that. Yep. And we're trapped. Okay. Let's try putting the heart on there. Will that work? Well, it would. It didn't stay on there, but whatever. It worked. Okay. Open door novice. Unlocked with key. Nice. Okay. Does that mean we're out now? Oh, no. No. Can't you see? We're back where we started. I knew it. It's just useless. The suppressor doesn't want us to leave. And now he will be even angrier when we meet him than, than he was before. It, it was a mistake to follow you. you. You're vile. You forced me to do this. and You and you alone. <laughs> just... Just... Just leave me alone, okay? Just, just go. Yeah, gladly, man. Okay. Well, Marcus, here we are again. Can't honestly say I want to go through all that bullshit again. Let's try something. Let's try going to sleep. 9.54 p.m. Let's see what happens if we sleep. Okay, answer nothing. We're, we're just back here. So how... Take bucket. All right, that doesn't do anything. What about this? Don't take this personally, Axon. Well, well. So you figured it out. <laughs> yes. I am what keeps you in this place. Aha! Was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? 
The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is Oh, okay. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? Okay. And now we're in a bed. I don't know what's going on over there, but I must say waking up in better clothes is filling me with a little more optimism. Oh, it's it's Jespar. Hey, this person is busy. Oh, he is. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey. hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Um, well, to be honest, Jespar, I'm not feeling too good because, um, I'm thinking I'm still in some sort of weird, freaky dream state. Um, but this is definitely a, better, a big improvement from the last place I woke up. So I uh, guess I'll just go with fine. Uh, where are we, though? In the temple. The Curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others are already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? Oh. I believe congratulations are in order. Uh, so we finished the trial? Is that what you're telling me? Cool. Uh, thanks, Jespar. Don't mention it. Bad, though, that this keeperness won't get you anywhere. Yeah. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Wait, Simply what? Simply pathetic. What? What are you talking about? I said you are pathetic. At first we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. Hey! A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. As if you'd ever accept that. I, you humans what? are always so damn persistent. Serious, you? it wasn't why, my fault. Why I... can't you just... Let go. Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, Prophet, you are the biggest joke of all. What? No, what? You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. Guys, this isn't very nice. And a murderer. What? And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. We'll see about that. So you are the ones behind it, aren't you? Why are you doing this? What have we ever done to you? What have you done to us? You are so naive. The world is an interplay of cause and effect. Yeah. And the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. Excuse me, I beg that's to differ. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter, Urchin. We wanted to meet you, and so we did. Even though the result is rather sobering. Yeah. Now wake up. Keep on stumbling through the mist. Stumble through your mist. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh god, not this again. Please tell me this is real and not a dream this time. Please. Well, there's other people here. That's a good sign. Oh, Dunwar! And Kalia. Hey! I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. Yeah, I'm happy to see you, I'll tell you that. 
smiling. Shock of shocks, I am, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm okay, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Then you have a remarkable constitution. Usually the after effects of the potion last for days. Oh, okay. But it's good to see the Grand Master was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. We passed the trial. Okay. So, does that make us keepers, then? Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath, and then Grandmaster Aranthia will exalt us to the keepers of the first sigil. Oath? Speaking of home, I, mm. he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyrians, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. He told you about that? <sighs> this really? This is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. Tell me about it. Um, I can't believe he told you about that, though. I thought that was supposed to be... Unless... Unless, are you guys... Are you guys, you know, part of it, too? Maybe you are. I don't know. Um, let's see. Death of the Lightborn is the best thing that could have happened. I, I don't know about that. Not when everybody else finds out. Trust me, when the freaking devoted people find out, they're going to riot in the streets, man. You'll see. I figured, what do you make of all this? The cycle, the cleansing. Yeah, well, yeah, what are your thoughts on all that crazy business? Hard to say. I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, oh. even though I'm magically gifted. Okay. But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. <sighs> well, I suppose all of this explains a lot. Yeah. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. Mm -hmm. According to him, most of our battle against the Cycle will stand or fall with you. Oh god, don't tell me that, man. Oh boy. Why does it all have to be on me? Uh, I wish I could say that with the same conviction as him. To be honest, I don't really think I've understood all of what's happened to me yet. That's true. I really... I, this is all happening quite quickly, and I... I I really don't know if I'm ready. I really don't. Yes, I believe that. It's a great responsibility you've been given. Yeah. And as impressive as your skills are, I would not want to change places with you. Thanks. So, what's next? Well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. Oh, you should talk I to the Grand really Master as don't soon as you're ready. want to. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. Well, what about Dunwar? He's, he's not... He's not taking the oath? Right. Dunwar. The apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. Oh, no. It's What's... likely that he'll never wake up again. Wh are you kidding me? Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, absolutely. He doesn't deserve to die. I mean, he was a... He was an ass of the highest order, but... But what the hell happened? This is... That's not good. No. In spite of everything. You know, Dunwar was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. Yeah. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline. And his oh. faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. And who knows? Maybe he would have been a great help to the Order with the right guidance. But I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. Oh, that sucks. Last of his line? And now he's dead or in a coma for the rest of his life. Ugh. That's messed up, man. Character, you don't seem to be too shaken up over all this. The death of the Lightborn, I mean. That's true. You do seem to be... You do seem to be pretty blasé about it. Well, maybe I just don't show it as much. Oh, okay. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. 
Yeah. And an idea doesn't die with the one who first thought of it. That's right. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the exaltation. Dunmore would have considered it blasphemy. You talk about the Lightborn and their ideas as if they wouldn't have cost thousands of lives. They weren't as benevolent as you make them out to be. Interesting thought. Speaking of Dunwar, what was that thing at the ritual place all about? He called you a witch. Yeah, what was that all about? Mm. I knew the question would come eventually. I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. Sooner or later, you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so... Why not from me first? I would rather hear it from you. I would. Yeah, I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't interested, so... Shoot. As you wish. I... <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. Really? So you don't remember anything before you were six? Wow. Why? I wish I knew. What I do know, though, is that the first memory I have is of waking up in the middle of some village. It was dark, and I felt dizzy and, I don't know, empty? That's probably the best way to describe it. Kay. I eventually found the strength to get up and look around, and, well, that's when I realized what was actually going on around me. And what's that? The entire village. It had been destroyed. Okay. Wow. There were corpses everywhere. Men, women, children. And the houses had been crushed as if some mad god had rampaged through the streets there. And it had all just happened hours before because the destruction was still fresh. Whatever it was, I didn't have much time to think about it. As soon as I got up, I saw three riders coming through the smoke. One of them got off his horse ran towards one of the corpses and started screaming something in my direction. Then I felt a blow on the back of my head and I lost consciousness. By the name of the sun, it's... It's strange to talk about it like this. It's been so long, but the memory feels as if it had happened yesterday. Wow. Okay, so you just woke up in the middle of, uh, of your destroyed village. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, why did the why did the men on the horses attack you? Well, it turned out the riders were hunters who had come from that village. They must have observed the whatever it was from the distance and ridden back to the village. At least I think that's how it went. I guess I'll never find out. Yeah. The reason they thought I was somehow involved is that the village priest found me a couple of days before it happened near a shrine in the wilderness. Apparently, I was wearing torn clothing, and no matter what the apothecary tried, he couldn't wake me up from my comatose sleep. And it seems that made the writers think I was some kind of witch child. I see. Or unholy beast, whichever you prefer. I see, and that's why Dunwar calls you the witch. Got it. So they really thought a six-year-old child destroyed an entire village? That's... that's crazy. For you, maybe. For them, as simple people, it was probably the best explanation they had. Yeah. And think about it, it's not that far off. A motherless child who neither talks nor breathes steadily is found abandoned on the roadside and has a strange mark on her face. Oh, that's not they a leave to go hunting. tattoo, and when then. they come back, they find their village in ruins, with that foundling child being the only survivor. You have to admit, it's not that much of a stretch. I suppose. Even if those men hadn't been superstitious farmers. And so, what? They were trying to do what, exactly? Take revenge for what had happened to the village, or, or what? Probably. Truth be told, I try not to think about it too much. I could understand and that. Actually, it doesn't matter, because I somehow managed to get away before they could do anything. I even made it to Ark all by myself. 
Which didn't turn out to be much of an improvement in the end, because I was pathless. Right. So where'd you end up then? Uh, in the Undercity? Yes. Thinking about it now, I actually wonder how I made it through my time down there. But maybe that's one of the advantages of being a child. You don't think. You just act. Yeah, that's true. Still, the winters down there were cruel. And if Master Tyrus hadn't found and taken care of me, I probably wouldn't have made it through my second year. Master Tyrus? A keeper adopted you? Yes, otherwise I would not be here. Yeah. He saw me, and he knew what he had to do, is how he put it. Of course, the Order wasn't too happy about a pathless child in the Scuola, just as some aren't happy about you being here. But Tyrus was a highly regarded man, and that's why they let it slide. Okay. So he just saw you and decided to adopt you? That sounds too good to be true. Why is the Order so preoccupied about Pathless trying to get into their ranks? It's not like we don't have our reasons. That's right, we do. But we are both still Pathless. And that disqualifies us according to the Holy Verses. I guess now you understand why I was never as connected to Malthus's teaching as Dunwar was. To some of the Keepers, I am still an outcast. And no matter what I do, I always will be. Yeah. So Master Tyrus granted you the novitiate then? Yes. And now I'm here. <sighs> well, here we've reached the end of my impressive tale. I hope you liked it. I guess I, I, guess I did for, you know, for what it's worth. Uh, Salia, sorry. Sounds like you had a pretty rough time of things. Definitely not the fisherman's daughter from the village, that's for sure, yeah. What happened to... Yeah, you're definitely not... <laughs> let's try to... Let's try to lighten the mood a little bit. You're definitely not the fisherman's daughter from the village, that's for sure. No, I guess I'm not. So whatever happened to Master Tyrus then? Where is he now? Gone. He was very old, and there was nothing anyone could do about it. But I'd, I'd prefer not to talk about it, if you don't mind. Yeah, I understand. So that means Dunwar believes that this, this story about you being responsible for the destruction of the village is true. Or, or it means that he was just having a laugh about it. He does, yes. Oh, and he does he's not believe not alone it. in his opinion. One of those hunters recognized me in the market my first year as a novice, and you can imagine that it was easy pickings for those who were already against my presence in the Order. From then on, they added names to the derogatory stairs. Demon Child, Witch, whatever they could come up with. Um... I saw your skills, and you're the only one who made it through the trial. The way they treat you probably has more to do with jealousy than anything else. No, I think maybe we'll pay her a few compliments here. Well, you're talented, intelligent, and pretty to boot. Many reasons for the other novices to envy you. Yes, maybe. You know what's funny? To some extent... I'm glad to be who I am. Well, that's good. That way, people just leave me alone, and that gives me more time to focus on what's important. On my goals. Yeah, it's a good way to look at it. Think positive. What are those goals, exactly? Several. But I'd say that's enough of the gloomy stories, don't you think? There will be plenty of time for chatter in the future. Maybe. Hopefully. I like you, Celia. I do. So Dunwar was the last of his bloodline, you say, huh? Yes. All of the Dalmordans fell victim to the Great Flesh Maggot Plague of 8215. Actually, it was almost sad to see him running around and boasting about his nobility, though everyone knew that without the help of the Order, he would have probably ended up living in a shack in the Undercity. If you can call that living. Yeah. Well... I guess that's it for now, Celia, but uh, let's definitely talk some more later. I should probably go see 
Should probably go see the Grandmaster now. You should. It's already late, but if you want, I can show you the most important places in the temple before you go to the Emporium. What do you think? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Good. Then get your gear from the chest by your bed and we'll go. Okay. Oh, my chest, right here. Okay, wow, yeah, everything's in here. All right. Take it all. So. Marcus. We made it through the trial. As creepy and horrible as it was. We even had a time to... Get in a little bit of a chat with a... With a cute girl. Not too bad. All things considered. And now, unfortunately... We have to go take an oath. And officially become part of the order. That... I'm not looking forward to.